Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus the Tribble. In an earlier video I was talking about wireless technologies and how they use the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, uh, specifically Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, decked cordless phones, and so on. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned that microwave ovens also use 2.45 gigahertz to heat food. And the reason I said that they use 2.45 gigahertz was because this is some sort of resonant frequency of water. It turns out that's not exactly correct. I was reading recently about industrial microwave ovens, and I discovered they use 915 megahertz. Now if you think about it, given that water molecules are these little super teeny tiny things, uh, the resonant frequency of water is not going to be 2.45 gigahertz. You can do some simple math to kind of figure this out. And In any case, I then decided to look into microwave ovens a bit more deeply because um, well, something something's wrong here. Uh, it turns out that actually many people have the same misconception that I did, which is that you know 2.45 gigahertz resonant frequency of water, and in fact that's not how microwave ovens work at all. So how do microwave ovens work? Well, we know that they actually heat the water molecules. Now, water is an interesting thing. This is my water molecule: oxygen, two hydrogens. And of course, the oxygen is negatively charged, the hydrogens are positively charged, so you have a polar molecule. Now, when you have a microwave oven, what you actually have is a 2.45 gigahertz uh, electromagnetic field. It's an oscillating, constantly changing electromagnetic field. And electromagnetic fields consist of an electric component and a magnetic component. It's the electrical component, the electric field inside a microwave oven, that we're actually concerned about here. Because when you have a polar molecule that's positive on one side and negative on the other, in a changing electric field, the water molecules will tend to rotate in order to keep up with that rapidly changing electric field. And that is, in fact, what causes the water molecules to move, which then causes them to sort of bump into each other, and then they start kind of flying around, Transla translational movement, we can call it, and poof, you're the water in your food gets hotter, which actually makes the food itself hotter. So it's actually the rotational movement of water molecules, which are polar molecules, that causes the heating. But, well, that still doesn't answer the question, why 2.45 gigahertz? Why do industrial ovens use 915 megahertz? Well, it turns out that if we take our cute little water molecule here, water is a pretty nifty substance because it actually absorbs across a broad chunk of the microwave spectrum. Now, the microwave spectrum officially is something like 300 megahertz all the way up to 300 gigahertz. And you're probably going, hang on a minute, Scotty, but that's strange because I thought that, you know, like millimeter wave 5G was like 27 gigahertz, 30 gigahertz, uh, eventually up to 60 gigahertz. That would be within the microwave spectrum. Yes, it would. That's, it's still millimeter wave, but the microwave spectrum is actually pretty broad. And water molecules happen to uh, absorb a large portion of this microwave spectrum. So why did they make consumer microwave ovens 2.45 gigahertz? Well, uh, way back in the day, many decades ago when they were introduced, um, the 2.4 gigahertz band was not very used. And so they needed a frequency that would not conflict with various radio transmissions and that sort of thing. So they picked the, this unlicensed band. Now, in the decades since, the 2.4 gigahertz unlicensed band, uh, usually called the Industrial Scientific and Medical Band, is used for all kinds of things. Uh, and the reason it's used is because you don't need to have like an FCC license. You don't need to, you know, there are, there are, so there are rules, but there are fewer rules, and you don't need to be uh, licensed to run a transmitter, whether that transmitter is in the form of a microwave oven or a radio station or the Bluetooth on your smartphone, for example. So it was simply a question of practicality. They needed a band, and they said, well, here, you know, the water in food absorbs microwaves over a broad region, so let's pick 2.45 gigahertz, and there you go. But for industrial microwaves, well, they picked a different frequency. So there you go. That is how a microwave oven heats food. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.